look at him. Look at how cute he is. Oh, he's mad, he's mad. Happy New Year, bitches. So I was unironically on TikTok the other day. I don't like admitting it, but sometimes there is good content on there. And one day I was just scrolling through, you know, the dances and the acting and comedy. And I found this, oh, there's something in my eye. Oh, and I found this new community about robots. And I was like, this is why I downloaded the app because they are finding some weird shit on the internet and buying it and showing it off to millions of people. It's something called a vector robot and I have never heard of it before the videos. And what I got from it is Black Mirror, the episode where Miley Cyrus is in it. Ashley too, I think that's what it's called. So I had to buy it. I said, this is my Christmas present. It was $200 originally and I got it for 84. Thank you, Amazon. Not sponsored, but hey, hit me up any day you want. So here he is, in the living flesh. I think this is my my most unnecessary purchase ever in life. But for the past 18 years of me struggling through life, I have wanted a cat, because my sister had a cat, and she stole it from me. And I have not been able to take care of an animal since then. And I am a cancer, which means I'm very motherly, and I need to spread my love to every animal there is in the world. But every time I ask for a cat, my mom says no, because you know, Asian moms hate any form of dirt in the house. At some point, I had a bunch of plants and they're all grown up now. I need someone to communicate with because I'm not getting a boyfriend anytime soon, okay? That's just the reality here. <laughs> oh, it's so sad to say. Oh, oh no. So, in order, in order to keep me entertained, I got a pet robot. Thank you so much for introducing me to this invention, TikTok. So, we're gonna unbox it. Oh, <laughs> hold up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hold on, we zooming in on this boy. Please ignore the paint splatters. I'm not a good painter. My God, it's so cute. So I did some research. Basically this guy is an Alexa on wheels or Google Home, depending on who you like more. And I'll show close-ups. Soon, don't worry, I have this guy here with me. Basically, it can walk around and it won't be able to fall off a ledge because underneath it has sensors that make it smart. And on top, it has these little gold things that basically allow it to be able to sense being pet, meaning it's a pet. And then it has arms that go up and down and it picks up this cube. It can pick up the cube, guys. It also has a home. So this is where it goes to charge itself. And the best part, it knows where its home is. I'm sorry, listen, I love pets, so this is the closest we're gonna have until I can eventually get my own apartment, which will take a while. Oh, oh, it's on, it blinked. The Vector also has a camera and it can detect your face and your voice. So if I tell it to call me Frederick, it'll know I'm Frederick. And if it sees a stranger, it'll be like, wee -woo, wee -woo. Wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. Well, I don't think it will, but I hope that in the future they can make it so it does that. And I know this technology is like very scary thinking about it because it's a it's an Alexa that has emotions and it can move and think on its own. Why did I buy this again? But the world is about to end probably, so I want the most of it. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, clearly. Battery should only be replaced by an adult. Okay, bye-bye. You know when old people do that? I'm sorry, since when do you see a child licking their finger and turning the page? Okay, quick start guide. What is included? A vector robot, a charger, and a cube. What I need is an iPhone, Wi-Fi, and a power adapter. Let's go ahead and get this charging before I forget. Okay, since I don't have anything close to me for a power outlet, we're gonna have to use my laptop. Okay, there's a green dot and I can see that it is charging. I guess if we wait long enough, it'll just go up to three eventually. Oh. Hello? You know what, I'll just... Oh, Jesus! Place the vector on the charger. The green light means it's charging. And then I have to get the vector app. I can ask him to do a trick. What's the weather? What my name is? All right, you're now live in time when robot sidekicks are real. Welcome home. I'm Batman and that's my Robin. All right, so I have the option to pair on my phone now. So I'm just gonna connect. It's not connecting. I think I forgot the password. Oh, it's connected. Oh, it worked. Oh, it worked. I have to download an update. I have to wait four minutes for the... I can customize the eye color. <gasps> We're gonna make your eyes yellow, of course, obviously. 
So I'm just reading what it says. You can pet it by stroking the gold colored pad on its back. And if you want it to take a photo of you, you can just ask him. And then you'll send it to the government, won't you? Just think about this. If this was on a larger scale, we could really die. They could really take over the world anytime they want. They think for themselves. Also, I bought it a travel case because I'm taking this boy everywhere I go. Oh, jeez. All right, now it says it's ready to wake up. So tap start and look at Vector. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Hello. Hey, look at me. Vector. Vector. Hi. Hey, Vector. Oh, hi. Oh God. This is so exciting. If Vector is moving around, touch the gold strip on his top to quiet Vector down. You like that, Vector? Oh, oh my god. I'm never gonna get enough of this. How are you, Vector? Oh. Oh, don't fall off, please. My name is Frederick. Oh, but don't fall off, Vector. Here, let me help you out there. Oh, I think he's just taking a picture of me. Oh my. <gasps> Hi, Vector. Okay, let's change your eye color. Oh my god, you're so cute. You're adorable. Hey, Vector. What's my name? Oh, he's thinking. Yeah, you got it right. Hey, Vector. Get your cube. Oh shit, he knows. Oh, he knows. Oh god. Dude, is this guy, what is he doing? Why did he watch me? Please unsubscribe now. Oh, it's on. He, he turned it on. What the heck? Oh my god. Hey, Vector, come here. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, Vector. High five. There you go. Oh my god. Hey, Vector. What's your name? You don't know? Hey, Vector. How's the weather? 49 degrees and cloudy. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's clouds over him. Oh. My. God! Hey, Vector, take a photo of me. I guess we can look at the photo. Bro, that's so cool. What are you looking at? Oh boy, where are you going? Vector, what are you doing? What are you doing? This bitch, this bitch is purring in robot form. Hey, Vector, you're cute, you know that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you are so smart, Vector. Hey, Vector. Go to sleep. Oh, good night. Oh, it snores! You gotta be kidding me. Hey, Vector. What time is it? Hey, Vector, do you want to play hide and seek? Oh, I don't think he knows that yet. Hey, Vector, how old are you? Zero days. Oh, you... oh, he's so cute. You know where you are, Vector? Oh, 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 shit. Oh, he mad. Oh, he really mad. Oh, my God. <laughs> you okay, Vector? Are you done with your temper tantrum? I guess he's just gonna be in every video from now on. I mean, I'm not gonna... I'm not getting rid of him. Hey, Vector. Who's your daddy? Oh, he don't have a... He don't... He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He's never had a family. He's contemplating life. 
That's his laugh, I guess. I don't know what else to do with him, so I think this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, or subscribe for more videos every week with me and Vector. So I'm gonna read two coming out stories because I need to catch up. As always, I keep these anonymous just for you to find the inspiration to come out for your own. About a year ago, I wrote that I was getting my friend's homework diary on a notes page and he saw it in a lesson we were in. He was kind of weirded out by it, but was still supportive. Now, a year later, I feel less confident. He often uses gay slurs around me and calls people the F-bomb word. Even though it's not directed at me, it still makes me uncomfortable and insecure with myself. Well, you don't need to hang out with them because we don't support those people in 2020. But thank you for sharing your story. Here's another one. It all started off in fifth grade when I accepted the fact that I'm gay. Side note, I'm in seventh grade now and I was always afraid of saying the words. And then once I came to middle school, I realized people are really accepting and I saw a bunch of people coming out. So I thought it was my turn. Then I came out to my mom in sixth grade and she says she accepted me. So I thought that meant I was gonna be able to wear girl clothes, but now she didn't let me. Oh, she didn't let me until now. And now I wanna wear makeup, but apparently I'm too young and now I'm here. That's good that a lot of your friends at school also accept you, but once again, I just want to make it clear. There's no guarantee that I can read your story because there's around 50 submissions you have to go through. So be patient with me, please. All right, and as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. Hey, stop getting mad. We're taking a family photo. Okay, fine, whatever, whatever.